The woods near Bordeaux are still burning. This area was hit by a massive fire in July and another blaze this week. Fire crews from across Europe have come here to help their French colleagues, many of whom are exhausted. The pine forests and the peat-rich soil are like a tinderbox. Even when the big fires are out, the danger still remains. As you can see, the ground around me is smoking. There are smouldering embers here, which very easily can be whipped up into yet another fire. A blaze breaks out in the bushes. Firefighters rush to put it out. But it's a constant struggle. Last night, the flames reached the edge of the village of Luchatz, threatening several houses. We met the mayor as he supervised a truck spraying water into the woods. We've never known a summer like this. It's a catastrophe, an environmental catastrophe, and also a climate catastrophe. The sun and wind need to be replaced by clouds and rain as quickly as possible. 10,000 people have been evacuated from their homes in this region. At a shelter in the town of Salle, Christian told me it's the second time he's had to flee this summer. I'm fed up with it, mentally and physically. It's time to go home, but it just doesn't stop. It's a very serious fire, the first time there's been such a big fire in our region. Christian hopes he'll be able to go home soon. Cooler temperatures are forecast for next week. But he, like everyone here, is worried about the future. Bethany Bell, BBC News, in the Gironde.